In the narrow-body aircraft industry, Airbus is gaining traction. Delta recently acquired its first A321neo aircraft and displayed its impressive features and cabin decor. However, the Boeing 737 MAX 10 is on hold, which may delay the launch of the 737 until 2023. The Airbus A321neo may face competition from this aircraft. Let's have a look. The A321neo has a seating capacity of 194 passengers and is more fuel efficient than the current A321 CEO aircraft. Delta has placed an order for 155 A321 aircraft, which will be delivered by 2027. Its domestic first-class seats have been updated to include memory foam cushioning, wings chairs for privacy, and a clever new design. The Airbus A320neo family competes with the Boeing 737 MAX, it has more fuel-efficient CFM International Leap 1B engines, aerodynamic alterations, including the 737 signature split-tip winglets, and airframe upgrades, and both aircraft is featured with latest-generation avionics. Boeing was attempting to clear the remaining inventory of 335 MAX aircraft in late January 2022, with the majority of them expected to be delivered by the end of 2023. The 737 MAX has 4,122 unfilled orders and 768 deliveries as of April 2022. A total of 2,451 A321 airliners have been delivered as of December 2021, with 2,404 in operation. In addition, 3,419 aircraft have been placed on firm order, comprising 7 A321 CEO and 3,412 A321 NEO. With 262 planes in its fleet, American Airlines is the largest operator of the Airbus A321. Let's look at the differences between the two aircraft. Airbus has a single-class seating capacity of up to 240 passengers, whereas the Boeing MAX 10 has 230 seats. The A321neo has a cargo capacity of 1,826 cubic feet, which is somewhat less than the Boeing 737 MAX's 1,961 cubic feet. Both aircraft have nearly identical lengths, up to 44.51 meters for the Airbus and 43.8 meters for the 737 MAX. The maximum takeoff weight of the A321neo is 97 tons, while the Boeing 737 MAX 10 is 89.7 tons. The A321neo has a fuel capacity of 32,940 litres, while the Boeing 737 MAX has a capacity of 25,816 litres. Both aircraft can fly CFM and PNW engines, however the Airbus is equipped with the Leap 1A, which delivers 147.3 kN of thrust. On the other hand, the Leap 1B engine from Boeing delivers up to 130 kN of thrust. Due to extra fuel capacity, the A321 has a range of roughly 7,410 km, while the Boeing 737 MAX 10 has a range of 6,110 km. The A321 has a top speed of 876 km per hour, while the Boeing 737 MAX has a top speed of 839 km per hour. The A321neo costs $130 million, while the Boeing 737 MAX 10 costs $134 million. An aircraft's suitability for passenger travel is determined by the Federal Aviation Administration. If Boeing misses the deadline, the MAX 10 will be unable to be authorized unless it can persuade lawmakers to extend a one-time exception from a safety standard provided to 737 line members. 
Boeing has 673 MAX 10 aircraft on order from 12 airlines, so any delays might be costly to both the firm and the airlines. Airbus is providing much more than benefits to its customers, attracting a large number of orders from major airlines. On the other hand, Boeing must work hard to complete the certification process and release the Boeing 737 MAX 10 as soon as possible in order to maintain market share in the narrow-body aircraft segment. What are your thoughts on both aircraft? Will Boeing return to compete with the A321neo aircraft? Please share your thoughts in the comments area.